Next, I will introduce you to one of Britain's most celebrated journalists. For 31 years, Lucy Calloway helped her readers understand business and corporate culture. Now she's quit all that for a second act that she calls brutal. What is it and why did she give it all up? Well, find out when we come back. Lucy Calloway was one of Britain's best and best-known journalists. She spent 31 years in the business as a reporter, a columnist, and an editor, working mostly the business beat. But then she shocked the nation at the age of 57 by saying farewell, mostly, to the pen and pad of journalism and saying hello to the chalk and chalkboard of teaching. Calloway is now a trainee teacher instructing England's next generation of youngsters in math. She joins me now. So, Lucy, I read you for years. You had this column which was sort of on business culture. So it was a column that every C-suite executive read, CEOs must have talked to you about it, complimented you. So you were in this giddy world where you were kind of a horse whisperer to CEOs and writing for the Financial Times. And you quit it all at the, at the point where your column was probably at its most uh, influential. Why? Uh -huh. to, and why to go teach and become a trainee? Well, I'd just done it for too long. I mean, you're right, I had this amazing platform and I'd found a job that I could do, something that I was good at. Um, but it was just too long. I mean, I'd been at the FT for a total of 31 years and writing that column for well over 20. Um, I just wanted to do something new. Um, and I was sort of tired of the cushy lifestyle, or at least I thought I was back then. Um, and I wanted to do something that was more useful. And I come from a family of teachers, and I'd always rather fancied it. And I thought, I I'm going to do this. I'm not too old. And I've set up this thing to encourage lots of other people to do it with me. And that was last September. And I'm now not a journalist anymore. I'm a teacher. OK, what's the biggest revelation, difference, you know. But what's the what's the lead in the story if you were to write one? OK, the lead is that teaching is really hard. Um, I had, in all, in all truth, thought I was going to be brilliant at this. Um, I love talking. I really, I really love teenagers. Um, I mind about social mobility. I like maths. I'm a maths teacher. I like explaining, you know, what could go wrong? Um, so I thought. But actually, Teaching is very, very difficult. I've just completed my training year, or nearly completed it, but I'm still nowhere near there. I, I'd expected, I mean, the arrogance of me, I'd expected that, you know, within a few weeks, I'd be absolutely great. What's, and what's hard about it? Well, I mean, mainly it's about multitasking. You have to do so many things all at once. For a start, there are 32 children. You must be aware of all of them. You must be aware who understands it, who doesn't. You must be aware who's talking in the back row and who needs controlling. You must be aware who needs pulling on. But then there's all the other stuff. I mean, I, I need to be mastering my slides, which I'm very bad at. I need to know which is my interactive pen and which is my board marker. I keep getting them confused. Um, you need to come with a supply of new exercise books. You need to remember to set the homework. You know, so there are hundreds of things every lesson. And meanwhile, you're doing the substantive part of the math, which yes. you have to get completely right. Yes, and actually, quite often what happens is I find myself making moronic mistakes on the board <laughs> because I'm trying to do all of these other things. And then the kids think, ah, oh, she's not very good at maths. So yeah, it's, v it, it's the hardest thing I've ever done by a million miles. When you hear people say, well, why do schools not run like businesses? You have all this experience as a business columnist. Do you think that there's a problem in terms of how schools are run? If only you could bring the private sector expertise to schools? You see, what is so interesting, my past writing about management, you know, in most big companies, hierarchies have been more or less, you know, swept away, but not in schools. Schools um, are very hierarchical, very rule-bound places. And I see both the advantages of that and the disadvantages. I mean, in an autocracy, it's very easy. You don't have to spend hours having meetings. We spend no time in meetings talking about things. We're just told that, you know, this is the drill for this and this is the drill for that. And so it makes the school very efficient. But there's no soft, cuddly, feely time. There's no time to pat us all on the head or ask us what we think about anything. We just have to get on with it. And there should, probably. Yes, I think so. But if it means we don't ever have to go to meetings, then that's a, then that's a fantastic adv advantage. And if, in the end, we know what we're trying to do, which is educate the kids, we don't need to go to meetings about that. We know what we're doing. You know, I, I saw somewhere you wrote, fundamentally, journalism was about me, <laughs> and education is about the kids. 
And I want to know, you know, just watching what you've done and this embracing of humility and taking on all this hard work, there seems to be a kind of Calvinist part here where you are doing something that's very hard, very painful, because you think it is ultimately, you know, that pain is good, suffering is redemptive. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure I've got a very puritanical streak. I wish I could say I'd become a nicer person as a result of this. I think my friends and family would say I was just as tiresome as I always was. So I don't think it's had that thing. But you're right about redemption in a way. And there probably is some part of me that feels vaguely guilty and fraudulent about having lived such a charmed existence at the FT. I mean, by the end, I was going on beautiful holidays that were paid for in order to write about them. You know, I mean, it was you don't get cushier than that. And, 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 and I'm paying for it now, except that the reward, you're absolutely right. It's not about making my ego feel better. It's about trying to teach the kids some maths. It was one of the most fascinating ways of giving back that I've ever seen. Lucy Calloway, pleasure to have you on. It's been a great pleasure for me too.